Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. I've made a couple decisions. The first decision is I am not going to try and do the Kale Perico heist again, even though there's a 50% bonus this week. And the reason for this is it's already Wednesday. I don't want to. I don't need to. I mean, I've got $35 million. I've got all the properties. I'm almost out of parking spaces. Why would I kill myself? To pull that off. I, I, I trust that if I was able to fo follow GTA Men's Guide to the letter, I could probably, yes, maybe within an hour or two, I could I could make close to two million dollars. But I don't need to do that. I don't enjoy doing the heist. So this is a video game. This is something that's supposed to entertain me. So I, I think it's time to break myself away from most of the unpleasantries of this. And here we are. Now it's suddenly the game has decided to focus on the car. I like this car, of course, and it's it's triple money on Issy Week, so we're going to do more more Issy Racing. But I am tiring of the cabbie look. I, I'm I'm tiring of this particular paint scheme. You know, it's like it's good. There's nothing wrong with this. It looks fine. But it's just, I'm not emotionally connected to it. And I thought, you know, let's try something a little different. I'm not going to go with any kind of wild uh, pearlescent paint on this one. I think, I think we're going to turn it into a Mr. Bean Mobile. We're going give it, to give it a green paint job. I think I can get lime in classic. So we'll give it a lime paint job. I may lose the, uh, the forced induction look if those butterflies don't open. So we'll see that. So we're going to tweak this up a little bit and then take it to the track. First of all. Yeah, the butterflies don't open on that. They didn't fix that in, that in uh, induction setup. So we're going to lose it. And maybe, I don't know, we're not going to necessarily go straight up bean, like, you know, because that wouldn't have the wing and all. But, I mean, it's a commonplace thing, if you even look on the internet, for people to, when they're going to do their wild mini modifications to use the Mr. Bean paint scheme. What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? You can bean me up, my friend, so I could take this thing racing. Let's see, we're already armored bodywork. Now I think we want stock bodywork. Stock bodywork for the most part. The race brakes, bumpers. I mean, yeah, we, we, we've gone for, uh, we could we could do something like this, but then we're losing ground clearance. So I, li I like the chrome bumper, so that's, that's the trick there. So that's why we're going to leave that stock. Let's not worry about the bumpers. Let's, chassis, we've already got a stripped race interior. We can make it more comfy here. You can tour lights. We can do it. Go with the tour lights. That's a thing on some of the uh, the bean uh, modifications. We can we can go with the the touring lights if we want to. Not necessary though. Yeah, we'll leave it as a race. Engines maxed, exhaust. We got side pipes. Let's go stick with that. Might not be a bad idea to go with just the <clears throat> those are, but yeah, the stock fenders do give a nice complement to the blackout hood grill. Eh. Hood. Now hits this one. We're gonna get rid of the blower. You could, could go expose tri filter. Oh, we could do anything we want. Carbon. See if we go with the carbon hood. Weenie. Carbon hood. Now we're going through Mr. Bean mode. 
You got great taste. Carbon the hood. Okay, we got the clown horn going. Lights. Neon kits, neon color. We're going to change that from gold to lime. We're going to lime this up. Livery. What's Fin Racer? That's weird. Here we go, none. Respray, primary, in the classic group. Can't get it in the... All right, can we get it? I know we can get it in one of these. Matte lime? Go matte lime green. There you go. Oh, we have to get those stunts so we get the other ones unlocked. But we'll, run, we'll go with matte for right now. I don't think there's a better green. Like, technically speaking, you, you know, the color was a citron green. You could do yellow because for the movie version. I don't know if we have a light enough yellow. See, that's nice, but not available. We need two more stunt jumps, and I don't know where any of them are. If you go through the greens... There's nothing really applicable. Do yellow. You know, do yellow might work. <coughs> that kind of looks a little bit more like the uh, the Mr. Bean. It has that greenness to it. It has the yellow. It's somewhere between green and yellow, so it kind of, it's that citron green. You could say it's the yellow from the movie, or you could say it's kind of like the green from the other one. And so until, and this is, a pearlescent, so I can give it a pearlescent to give it a little bit more green. To give it a little bit more green tinge. I was going the wrong direction, you know. We can't give it a lime green. That would be optimal. Probably. Give it the lime green tinge. But what have we got? Ultra blue. There's gasoline green, bright green. Just to give it a little bit of a a green hue from certain angles. Olive green, sea green, racing green. Do yellow on do yellow. I mean, maybe just make it a little bit shinier. Race yellow. Let's let's skip out of it. Let's see whatever whatever default is. We'll stick with that for right now. Secondary color. Are we even using a secondary on this? Oh, just for the uh, the roll cage. You can match it all up. Do undo. Trim color. I think we leave the trim alone. Roof. That's all. We'll use that stock for the full, uh, full effect. Spoiler, primary big wing. Hmm. That's a bit beanie. <clears throat> Just go with the roof rack? He doesn't have a roof rack, though. This would be none, and then we need the need a bonus, so we're going to have to give it a little bit. 
I think we leave it, leave it alone. Primary big wing. Suspension, it's already slammed. Transmission. Turbo is there. Wheels. You can leave the wheels as long as the tires are bulletproof. They are. Windows. Light smoke. We'll, we'll give them a little smoke here. There we go, the Mr. Bean Racer. But how will it perform? That we'll find out shortly. Let's look at like, let's take a look at it in the light first. It's a simpler build than the last one. But yeah, I think that's that's a beanie hot rod, don't you think? Hot rod, Mr. Bean. They could have done an episode like this. And someone fixes up his car for him and gives it back to him. And... Beaniness. Please don't, please don't extend it. Please don't extend it. Hey, all right. That's five people. That's enough. I'm not I'm not in this for the money, really. I just want to race. That that's the kind of, that's where I'm at right now. I don't really I don't really care. I'm not there's nothing I've got to buy. I'm in a good place right now. I've ground enough. Alright, this guy's zipping it along. That's good. We're gonna beam this up. Yes, it's a terrible track, but at least we got into a race. We got the turbo. You think the lime green lighting goes with it? Or is it too limey green? Would be better off with yellow? Or just white? Or crew? Take the center run. Well, so far the Bean Mobile is is doing well. I didn't look at the settings. I believe catch up is on. And slipstream. Yeah, you can hear the engine winding down. But that can help you take turns. It takes that little bit. It's like riding the brake a little bit. It can, Slowing you down so that you're within your uh, performance envelope. What the denim? You gotta be kidding me. What the heck happens? Fine, I'm not changing anything. I'm not adjusting for anything. Until we get down there. Well, I don't know why that didn't. All I did was adjust to go downhill, and somehow that took a nup off of it. Uh, the track's gonna get you. Just missed the windmills there. All right, it's catch out time here. We tend to do a little bit of a comeback. Commanding lead, and then all of a sudden, thing just dribbles itself off the darn jump. There's a game mechanic, I believe, and I think this is how it works with. Why the bikes are, you know, why wheelie and makes them go faster. I think gravity is always perpendicular to the car somehow, to the vehicle. So, thus and hence, when I, when I tilted it forward, it actually pulled the car around the other way. 
and pulled it back. I think. I mean, it's a test of what happened. What happened? What happened? Okay, we may as well go with the flow here. Well, I mean, we're failing in entertaining Mr. Bean-like ways. Don't know why I lost the tail on it there. Looks like someone just reset. They might have gotten clipped by a uh, windmill. Looks like there may have been a, a, an issue between the two of them because there's... I'm somehow in the lead now. Did they both get hit by the windmills? Did they get try to take each other out? I don't know. I mean, first... Okay, now, once again, don't do anything. Don't do anything. What the hell? Okay, I did, I did the same thing there that I did on the previous jump. And now it's fine. It's the catch-up. Whoever is in the lead is going to have a bad time on that because the catch-up drags them down. At least that's what I think. That's the only thing, the only reason, the only thing that the two things had in common was that when I was in the lead is when it wouldn't make the jump. Trying not to hit this guy. Trying hard not to hit this guy. He's just all over the track and in the way here. Like, I'm lifting to not hit him. Alright, so at some point, I'm going to have to muscle past you. It wasn't there. Am I totally stuck? What the hell? That was stylish. Totally stylish. I don't know, we might be stuck with third here. I think I might be too far back at this point. Until the leader gets stuck on that jump. I wonder if I'm even recording. We'll see. Lap three. Okay. Okay, so they're both going for that turbo boost. Okay, that's... Again, I almost hit that dude. I'm coming up second for the big jump, so that might work for me. This guy might have the same problem I did. Maybe not, I mean, you know, we'll just have, have to see. Okay, there's the loop. Here we go. Now let's see what happens.
Looks like he barely made it. Oh, he didn't make the jump. Yeah, there's the catch up burns you on this track. I think it's the catch up. I don't have to do that again. I just have to not get annihilated by one of these blades. Heavens to Murgatroyd, that was close. Kind of be a little controlled there. Not as fast as probably as you could be, but I don't want to loop it out again. I mean, these things are twitchy. Come on, Bean Mobile, win your first race as a Bean Mobile. I think you have to do the the whoopsie doodle around the bend here thing. That's spinning out. Very carefully. All right. We may have this. We got somebody lined up on us from behind, but... Okay. GG. It just mirrors a catch up, mess up the jumps. It, it, I don't think it's just me, but. Ah, finish first. Mr. Bean Bean. Okay, so at least in Mr. Bean mode, it, it did win its first race, so that's good. Mr. Bean Bean. Now, if only I could have done that with a, you know, a sofa on the roof. It's just driving through the... Best lap! Bye, ammo. We need ammo. Always need ammo. Someone has said the hell with this. I'll go along with whatever. You could do. I'm not fond of Palato Palace for a lot of the same thing. It has some of the big jumps where if you're getting caught up, it's probably going to be a problem. But we can do it. We can do it. We can do it all night long. Do it all night long. And see, I'm doing this and I'm having fun. I would not be having fun if I was spending my time trying to, you know, sneak my way through Coyote Perico. It's just not, not a thing I want to do. Yes, it's big money, but it's not, it's not all about the money. It's about the fun, and I, I think that's, you know, don't get me wrong. If I needed the money, I'd do it, but I don't. I'm at thirty-five million. A little plus. I mean, I can make the same amount of money with the nightclubs and the gun running. It just depends on how much CPU time I want to uh, to burn. Ooh, this is going to be a bigger race. Okay, customs are on. Catch-up is on. Slipstream is off. That's an interesting mix. Catch-up is on, but no slipstream. 
Hmm. Three laps. So it should max the money, I would think. That's an interesting mix. No slip. Oh yes, please continue. Ready to play. Who's here? Will it be that guy who wins? Booga, 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 booga. Ah, it looks like there's at least one more bean mobile back there. But is it a hot rod bean mobile? We got a good position. Not gonna matter when we hit those slow strips, but the slow down strips. That was a one count. That was weird. I was waiting for the three, two, one. I was putting down my ginger ale. Kick it! Oh dear. Do we do the over the top overtake there? No, not quite. Close though. We got no slip, so there's no point in trying to get behind anybody. A drag race is a drag race. We're out in front. I've got catch up, so they should be all over me like like, like syrup on the waffles, folks, but That was just rude. Just barely made it around to the extra. Down in a lot of positions. Thanks to that assassination attempt by Bumpy McBumpmeister. That's probably the guy who set it up. He figured without slip that you can't get back in. But I mean, he left catch up on, which I don't mean that was a mistake. Taking off slipstream just, you know, simplifies the mechanics. Dude, unsafe re entry. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I've got everybody right in front of me. Including almost certainly the guy who wrecked me. Which I don't even remember what color that car was. That just happened so fast. I was just like, what, what, the, what happened there? I don't know how much of this I can attribute to skill and how much to the bean mobile being just, you know, a turboed up faster thing. Is overpowering everything. This is a tricky turn. Considering the assassination attempt, I think this isn't too bad. Even if we just hold on to third, we've got time. I think it's a three lap race. Turbo May. Second is where I should be able to pull the fastest laps because I've got no catch up. The guy behind me can't slip ahead. He has to actually drive faster than moi. I don't know what he was doing. I'm not sure how he actually pulled on me. Frame rate? Maybe. I'm on the wrong side of history. I hit the brakes. Wrong side of the tube, at least. He cut in front of me there. Like, I was trying to go around and he, just, he cut back. I was planning a little differently. I had to hit the brakes there. So he wouldn't twist me, so at least he was, you know, I had control over the front. But this is a bumpy McBumpmeister. Slowed him down, though. 
He slowed me down. I, I wouldn't. I didn't get completely turned. I'll let the brown guy deal with him a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's the same red guy who twisted me last time. weird here because I, I seem to be getting outpaced by the stock cars. And everybody's just trying to take you to this door paint off. What is wrong with you people? Did you not get loved as a child? Like, everybody here has hit me. <laughs> that, that was just sad. Oop! I'm going for the inside takeout here. I've never done that before. I thought, well, let's try it. Looks like it's the same. Oh, there's a checkpoint. Dang it. Didn't realize there's a checkpoint. That's going to screw me. Yep, didn't see that checkpoint. You can't take the shortcut. Well, that's going to ruin my race for the most part, but yeah, one missed checkpoint will ruin your race. Oh, well, let's see what we can do. What can we do as far as a comeback is concerned? Slipstream's not an issue. There's no lining up, you know, just taking the best line is the best line. That's all there is to that. Wasn't much of a takeout, just to kind of a you were spinning into me, so. So there, huh? Give me room. And we won't have this problem. That's the other, the other guy, I think, who... That's the guy who blew up. He, he was hitting me on the way around. I like the lighting. This, this, this track looks neat at night. Or twilight, or whatever you want to call this. What was he trying to do there? Did he just want to give me the place? I don't know. Trying to stunt it out and look cool and then turned into a bowling ball? Okay, we've got another lap. Does this mean... And there's fifth! Um, I was gonna say, does this mean top five is always possible? What happened to fifth? Where? That fifth was way the heck out ahead of me. Okay, let's reel these guys in. I might have been in contention for, for something if I hadn't done that shortcut thing, not realizing I was missing a checkpoint. Of course, I probably was, would have even spun again if I was hanging out with these guys. So, it's all the same. Either way, it's okay. You wake up with yourself. Okay, so best path through. Take it around this way. Spin it out. That'll ruin my chances for doing anything. You lose, you, it, the acceleration is so bad on these. If you get, if you lose speed, if you lose momentum, you lose a lot. Love the swimming pool.
Not sure I'm closing on fourth at this point. A moment of indecision there is whether to go left or right. They, they set it up so there's no real good answer. You know, it's, the lines are terrible. I'm not, I'm not real fond of this track, to be perfectly honest with you. It's very cumbersome in some respects. I think just sheer power of engine on the car is, is letting me close on these guys. But we can't miss out on the, the boost. Okay, so they're starting to finish. I don't know that we're going to do better than fifth here. Unless I can overhaul some people in the tube. Might be possible, but we're on the wrong side of history again. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't really do much there without without wrecking them in the tube, and I didn't want to wreck anybody. So top five, considering the number of assassination attempts and my own foolishness. That's not too bad. I don't feel uh, the need to throw out a GG there because they really didn't give it a game. They were completely rude. Several people were rude in that. Rude. Was that the guy that we flipped around and looked at? I don't know. Maybe we have to look back at the thing. When we're doing the, the selection screen spinning. Best lap, though. All right. I'll take best lap. By a lot. So if it wasn't for major incidents, we almost got El Riviero. So except for major incidents, what one do I want? Let's do repeater. I'm going to pick Repeater. Let's see if anybody goes with me. I, I can't even figure out what that guy's trying to say. But Repeater's a good one. Taking a little while to load to look at the city for our brains explode. Um, okay, so we kept some people. And we'll keep them again if Wolfgaros uh, decides to keep going. And here I'm on repeater. Customs are off this time, so we must say farewell to the bean machine. Although we might be able to select a bean machine color. At least something close. Ketchup and Slipstream are on. Three laps. So it should be a pretty long race. This might be this will be our last one for this video. Cause these are long races, they really are. It it's you're looking at ten minutes each. I don't want to necessarily do a a three hour racing video. I don't know that that's palatable, so we'll just I don't have that much time anyway. So let's uh let's do this. Last, you know, one with without any kind of customs. And all the aids are turned on. All the, the ketchup in his lips are in the driving aids. At least they're not doing destroy last place, you know.
And in 10 seconds, you think he'll extend it? Or do you think in big for more people and more money? Is? We got two joining. That will extend it. Gionetina Giatia and Sahabachvach. All right. Launching session. I have to remember that everything's going to be a little bit more tail happy. What's a beanie? Nothing really. You don't have that nice light green or anything. We'll go yellow. We'll go race yellow. Both as an homage to my last color of my car here. It used to be yellow. And then the, the Mr. Bean movie car, I think, was a yellow instead of green. I don't know if they're implying that it had faded that much, or was it just, you know, better for light? You know how directors are, right? It's, you know. Okay. A bright yellow happy car is going to have a bright happy race. No one's going to recognize me unless they know my face. Slip, slip to the inside. Whoa, lag! Laggy lag masters. It's a bunch of laggy lag masters. Uh, what the hell was that? Okay, we're through. We're, we're heavily slowed down. Okay, we. Whoa! <laughs> Somebody goes off the cliff. So I, I, I would expect that was from a bumpy McBumpmeister. I really, I really do. Laggy Lagmeister. Okay, someone else is wrecked. Someone's got to be turning people up there. Who is it? What color car do we have to watch for? I think we have to... Whoa! Whoa! So we have to watch for everybody. I'm pulling on this guy just for the... because of catch-up. So he had a little easier time with the turn because of catch-up. He wasn't going in as fast. I got someone slipping me. I gotta start slipping this guy. Ah! And there goes the slip. I think there was a takeout, or is the guy just on my on my tail? In the first. And then here comes the catch up. Yeah. Alright, that was wild. I'm not even sure what happened there. He came flying past. If you feel the catch up, take hold. I don't want to slip him through here because if he pulls me into him, I really not gonna be able to maneuver. Woo! What? He just teleport there? I mean, that was like what happened. Suddenly I'm in third. Just suddenly an orange car. Yeah. Suddenly an orange car going sideways. Because these things, especially in their current state with no wings, are a little bit, a little bit tail happy, a little bit slide happy, a little bit ha slap happy is really. We're drag racing, so we both get the. Oh dear. I came down into it. I didn't really mean to. Oh. It's just mayhem. We kind of both just kissed each other's doors there, and there wasn't much we can do. I didn't drive it into him though, and try and like find power through. Catch up is just brutal when you have the stock ones. 
That can't be what that guy's really doing. That's gotta be lag. Slip on him. Give me the slip. Slipstream and away. Take the turbo. Use the catch up to help me in the. Whoa! Whoa! I was a, I was the meat and an issy sandwich there. Wow, that was just. I feel like this green guy is gonna go right for my door. Do you feel that? Okay, wrong door. But I I was on the right. I feel like that was moral. He has wrecked two people. I took him out. Just took myself out. Green car is still behind me, probably coming for me, just thinking, I'm going to get that yellow no good bastard! But, you know, these things happen. Turbo. If we can just get some slip. Not necessarily in the turn, but whoa! That was some slide in the turn. We don't want slide in the turn. We want slip out of the turn. Come on. Come on, Wolf Grands. Let me hook up with you here. We slip each other, we could catch him up. Yeah, that, that was technically a self-defense spin on green. I mean, I watched him wreck two people. I'm next. If I try to go around him, alright, that's it. You go, you look at the wall. Whoa! Um, what just happened? And oh, here we go. Dude! I just go into first and you take us both out like an idiot. Come on. Ah, uh, he's... I take the lead and he just slips into me and then takes us both off the cliff. Alright, I've come back from other things. It was visually interesting, you have to admit that. I only have to, to pace green until he gets to other cars, and then he's going to slow himself down. Wrecking people. And then we can get around him. What lap is it? I have no idea. This is a big track with three laps. Okay, that guy got... He was going the wrong way all together. That's that laggy orange car. I don't know what's happening to him. One more lap to go. Okay. Okay, I think that, that little bit of slop there kind of proved that the, the, uh, uh now we got, got a phone call.
Uh, it's always disappointing when the Bumpy McBumpmeister gets the win, but what are you going to do? That was a mess. I mean, every time I got near that green car, the one time it just rolled in front of me and I couldn't do anything. Just kept getting hit. Well, I don't care. I'm having fun. It was at least visually interesting, right? That was going to be my last race. I'm going to see if we'll do one more here since we're already into the, the swing of things. And then we'll call it a day, or at least at least we'll call it a session. I think calling it a session is a good thing. I may get to do the, a little bit more later on this evening, but we'll have to see how it goes. It's the last day for triple, so I, you know, any more racing I do after this, there'll be whatever else is. Okay, let's change up the color. Let's go pr bright purple, just to mess with them. You might say, why? Because just just to that, they don't you know they don't remember who's who. That's like I'll be looking for the green car. I'll be looking actually. Where are they? Um, oh, green car mile left. So this kind of will go with like the, the more purple motif of my other favorite Izzy, so we're just going to... I revved it up that time so it didn't work. I we did the old style of turboing, not thinking. This is going to be a mess in front of me. I should have gone blue. It's wrecking and wrecking and lag and wrecking and lucky wrecking and wrecking and lag and wrecking. Yeah, a lot of visual, a lot of video lag here. I don't know what's uh, what's going on with that. Someone's coming up. Looks like we're gonna they're gonna do the Malachi crunch on me.
bulldoze that guy over. All right, that was worth it for being visually interesting. Wow, do you see how many frames I'm dropping? This is ridiculous. Dude. What is it with green cars there? I don't think that's the same person. Maybe, it, maybe that's the, the... Maybe it wasn't the green car that won. I think it was the green car that won last time. It had to be. There was only one green car and it was ahead of me. Looks like I'm stuck right around the 4th, 5th kind of range this round. It's just, you know... I've got sometimes the laps to pull off a win, but not the luck. And sometimes not the, the good decision making, but I mean, that's... I wish the game would stop taking freeze, freeze frame pictures of it. Like, hey! Look at this! This look cool? Um, just let it flow. Let it flow, gang. It could be one person lagging that's that's causing the transmission issues, and then when you get away from them enough, clears up. These guys are wiggling back and forth for no reason, riding each other. There's going to be a crash here, clearly. Slip. Slip through it. Okay, I think in red this time. We're going to completely befuddle them. I'd rather the clean air than the slip. I know it'd be slower, but, I mean, just getting away from people trying to kill me. Second place is just about optimal now because they won't have catch-up. the kind of thing where you want to slot in behind first on the last lap and then slipstream pass for the win before the catch-up can figure out what's happened. But now we're going into first. I wonder why. Something has happened on the other side. See, that's the trick. If they just keep wrecking each other. Or, oh dear. Oh! It's Purple McMumpmeister. I don't know. Are you guys, like, really trying to wreck each other, or are you just that sloppy? I mean, you know... Sloppy, sloppy people. Oh, here comes some sloppiness. So we got green and purple, who have been trying to smash into each other a lot. Somehow I'm down to fifth. Can't really deal with... Whoa! There we go. Somehow I'm up to fourth. So it's purple on purple, is that it? Bumpy McPurple Meister. Sloppy! Alright, let's just weave. Bob and weave. The car find its way a little bit here and then down. I think I lost him in the spinners. We'll have to see. Third place. Okay, well. Again, I shouldn't have any catch-up. I think I'm far enough ahead that they can't get the slip. Second, for reasons we don't understand, because it's a dual circuit. First, okay, and there's there's the there was the guy who I just took first from, first second, first second, whichever way you go. Well, I guess we're both going red because you've kind of, I thought you were going blue. Mm. 
Will he try to do something dicey here? I'm going to have to back out or slide into him, I think. Uh, well, we're okay. I had the catch-up, so it helped me through the turn. He takes the cut back. I take another cut back. He slams the door. I didn't even have to lift, so it's just like, okay. This is where it's a catch-up battle. It's like, well, whoever's in first is, you know, there for a little bit until the catch-up kicks in. Did he, did he spin out? Something happened to him. Maybe he got clipped. I don't know. I am got the slow car. Everybody has to have so much more trouble. So what I did was I hid behind the ball so they wouldn't come after me. So you take first for a while and then you get the, the engine slow down. And he is going to be a problem. I'm going to blow up. Ugh. See, he was so in the way there, it made me take a wild line. What's with all these purple cars? Oh, yeah, I got run into it. Well, that just dis disintegrated my lead there. Just that one... See, can, they can turn so quickly. I was trying not to wreck people, so, I mean, you know. Well, I don't have to worry about catch-up now. It's the last lap. So somebody else entered first. I'm in eighth, but I think it's like all in one ball, really. Coming together up there. To almost count on them to start wrecking each other. Is this the last lap though? I might be I might be hung out to dry here in eighth. Yeah, I'm hung out to dry. Oh well, it went so well right up to the end. Now we get to do the GG guys gotta go. So quickly, can just the race can just turn in. If you have a problem with that at the, at the end of it, there's not enough time to recover. But at least, you know. GG guys, gotta go. I like the race. Yeah, see, it really hurts your time when you're constantly on the on the catch up. But on that, folks, on that, folks, notes, ladies and notes, little folks, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.